for some reason, one of my wife's friends, as a joke, got her um, 50 Devos for dog moms. <laughs> and so it's a devotional book um, written to, to, to dog moms. So I thought, Rob, maybe you'd be willing to just like open up to a random page and just, I feel like our viewers, um, you know, it's, it's hard out. It's hard out there. Um, you know, life is difficult these days and just give me that stupid book. <laughs> <laughs> just get it over with. We just we need <laughs> spiritual encouragement, okay? Somebody, somebody out there right now, their life is actually being changed by this book. <laughs> we're we're just, here, we're here bashing it. Oh man, it's a little weird, a little bit too niche for me. It's so weird that it doesn't even have an author. Well, who would want to put their name under that? <laughs> <laughs> it literally doesn't. Oh wait, written by Janice Thompson. Cover design that by name works. Anna Skelton. All right. Wow. 50 Devos for dog moms. Uh, honestly, I'm looking forward to the cat mom one. The All right. So mom. just a random one. I want you who are watching, I want you to put your hands out like this as if you're about to receive a gift. <laughs> oh okay. God. No, just joking. You're not going to receive anything. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. All right. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. What's it called? It was me. I let the dogs out. <laughs> Anonymous. Do I have to read Anonymous. This? Yeah, read yeah, it. Read the whole thing. He's he's got it covered. Uh oh my God will meet all your needs according to riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians four nineteen. Joy paced the lobby of the vet's office, sick with her worry. Her miniature dash dash hound? Is that how you pronounce it? I think dash so. Had lost the use of his back legs. <laughs> according to the vet, a disc in his back had gone out. Causing instant this is sad. paralysis. This is sad. Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's a dashing. <laughs> Have you is ever that, seen one is of that those? Like a wiener no. dog? Yeah, it's like a wiener oh. dog. Oh man, he's Just got a lot to like, carry around on two legs. I know. <laughs> All right. Now at his <laughs> now at a specialty clinic, a neurosurgeon had just given Joy the bad news: Copper would have to have spinal surgery immediately. If he didn't, the prognosis would be grim. So he would permanently lose control of his bladder and, and bowels and would never walk again. <laughs> Worse still, he would be in pain. I mean, that is pretty terrible. Yeah. Like but also crapping yourself everywhere you go would also be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> We're like laughing and like the dog people out there are like, this is <laughs> yes. like describing their, their like worst nightmare. You know? <laughs> like the dog people out there are coming for prayer to like our midweek services for this. Somebody out there get, somebody out there get a dog with the wheels behind him and he's like <laughs> dragging himself. <laughs> All right. It had to be done. No doubt about that. But how? She swallowed hard as she thought about the cost. Nearly $3,000 for a dog. <laughs> Would her friends think she lost her mind? It seemed an impossible price to pay, especially being on such a tight budget. But what else could she do? She loved that little dog. I couldn't bear to see him suffer. <laughs> Joy reached for her credit card and paid the receptionist so that Copper would have his life-saving surgery. But, I mean, let's just talk about the quality of life for a second. <laughs> all right? This dog is not playing fetch out in the field anymore. So, all, <laughs> so right away, that dream is crushed. All right? <laughs> He's dragging two big wheels behind him. No more fetch. Yeah, like poor guy can't even jump up at the couch anymore. <laughs> Without rolling. What would you do if one of your dogs had this happen to them? Three thousand dollars? <laughs> I would have a tough conversation. With <laughs> with <laughs> <Steph>. <laughs> poor guy's like this poor dog's like walking up a hill and all of a sudden you slowly see him rolling backwards. <laughs> just all the way down the hill. Oh man. All right. It would take a few months to pay off, but her little pup was worth it. Maybe you've been in Joy's place. Uh, no. An unexpected crisis has knocked you off your feet financially. Wow. The washer went out. Your car's timing belt broke. The AC unit went uh, bust, smack dab in a little summer. Things happen. But remember, God is a need meter. He knows what you need even before <laughs> you ask, and he's already made provision for it. That's so such a don't weird way to put it. When things go wrong, keep your faith. Take joy in the fact the Lord's already got it covered. He's a what? A need meter. <laughs> We should change Waymaker to Need Meter. <laughs> <laughs> need Meter. <laughs> Miracle Worker. All right, well. What um, do you think of that? Would you buy it for your daughter? No. Why no, not? I would not. Why? Why? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why? Why would I buy it's this? It's a waste of money. I mean, there's 
I think there would be I feel a, like there's an age better, group where it would be appropriate maybe yeah books out there for, for her uh, I wouldn't buy this for a dog mom to be honest no. yeah anyways uh, yeah so keep reading Sarah uh, hopefully it's doing you some good mm, I'm gonna burn it <laughs> <laughs> she's no no definitely not